Okay, I've had a few people ask me after seeing my posts on Facebook about my modified slide bar. So I thought I'd make a little video, try and explain to people why I've gone to the troubles to make this um, and customise it to my hand is pretty much what I was trying to achieve. Um, I started off playing with the the Shub SP2 um, and I really like it but there were a few things about it which I was a little a little niggles and when you're a player I don't know you feel like you have to be comfortable in everything and the slide is an important part of playing and how you feel about playing so it has to be comfortable it has to be right um, most lap steel guitarists go through, you know, dozens maybe in the course of their playing careers to find out what's the best one for them. Anyway, this for a long time was the best one for me. I like the weight. Um, it's quite a substantial weight. Um, it's got um, an angled edge for playing hammer-ons. Um, it's got a bullet nose at the other end, which... I've never been one for a, a bullet nose, not for what I play. I mean, there's certain things you can't really do with bullet nose. You can't... Um, you try and hammer on, it kind of wobbles around a little bit. And the other thing I can't do with bullet nose that I can do with the square edge is pull off one string onto another to create like a noise. I can't do that with the bullet nose. Get the first one, but I can't, there's just no zip to it, no zing, so. So, the other thing that I have, that I feel, I have to feel comfortable with is how it sits in my hand. Now, there are players out there I know that hold the bar quite far forward in their hand. It's not touching their hand at all and they play sort of almost holding it in midair. Um, I don't. I like the bar to be firmly seated into the crooks of my, my hand there. So I feel like I've got control over it. So I feel my hand and my wrists can, can add to the control. So therein lies my first problem really. This part here doesn't really sit very comfortable in there so I decided I'd try and do a little experimentation so what I did was I went out and bought myself a Shub RR2 which is the Rupert Randolph range it's pretty much the heaviest longest bar that um, shove do. Um, if I put a comparison against the shove, and if you can see that, it's quite, it's about, I'd say, it's at least a quarter of an inch longer. And when I bought this bar, this bar had um, square, square shoulders, well not shoulders, sorry, square ends on each side. So that already didn't fit comfortably into my hand. So the first thing in my custom job was to put a real severe slope on both of the shoulders. I wanted to make this a symmetrical bar so no matter what way I picked it up and played with it, it was going to be the same. It didn't ever feel different. Sometimes I'd pick the SP2 up and I'd accidentally pick it up the wrong way and start playing and fluff a note and realise I'm holding it with the bullet end out instead of the... the um, sharp edge out so first job cut down those slopes so I'll put that on a linature and I made them from square into this nice rounded so the next problem not so much a problem but something I had to overcome was the bar was about one and a half ounces heavier than the the sharp sp2 um, I like the weight of this bar, it's just right, it's, got, it's heavy enough to have a really nice sustain. 
um, and it's not light enough it's not too light to be whiny and it's, it, it feels substantial in your hand this before I did the mod modifications was way too heavy um, I tried playing with it and you get cramp in your wrist and your fingers very quickly I mean it's, it's predominantly designed for pedal steel and lap steel and you know not not wise and born playing um, so the weight had to be addressed so first first thing I did is I, I cut these these holes in the bar drilled them out and that has pretty much along with taking the extra material off the corners has brought it down to pretty close to the weight of the SP2 now so the two are quite comparable in weight and this feels as comfortable as this one feels um, the other thing after I'd done that I found out was um, the holes acted as a really nice grip um, the sort of thumb went into the end indentation of the hole and I felt like I, I had a nice grip on it the only thing I, I, I in time did was I put these um, these little gripped um, slots along the side and I put some um, grooves as well so now I feel I've got a comfortable grip I feel like the bar's not going to slide out um, all this now has achieved for me is the other issue that I had with the SP2 and other slides that I tried was l the length I don't know whether I've got extra long fingers I don't think I have but it was the feeling of having to have it snugly in there I needed the projection beyond my fingers so if you look at this you look where the bar finishes and my finger finishes they're about the same on this bar but when I pick up the SP2 and I put that where I want to play it my fingers like over the end now when I'm playing I find sometimes or I did when I, when I first started playing when I was looking down sometimes my finger was obscuring where the bar was and I found accuracy was an issue sometimes um, and I just felt like there was too much of it in my hand and not enough being projected out so going back to what I was saying earlier about some players just simply get around that by holding it out and not worrying about it touching in here I was I had to sort of get around that so with the extra length that the RR2 offered me now I see it's, it's comfortably in the crux of my hand and now the length I can see exactly where that tip is at all times um, and I find I've been playing this for about a week now after I've done these extra modifications to it and I am really pleased with it I'm not getting any hand fatigue because the weight is comparable now I love the length because the length covers an awful lot of the strings so when I want to play nice sweeping chords sometimes and this is just because I'm probably a crap player I would be holding the SS2 just a little bit a little bit short maybe and this top string would sometimes not ring out true now I've got the extra projection really that's not a problem for me now um, so yeah there you have it they are pretty much the reasons why I've gone to the, the trouble of doing these modifications and um, yeah I think it works for me um, I don't know what you're gonna get out of this video or my explanations but you know it might be something you might want to do you know just because there's not a slide out there on the market that you feel happy with all this one slide that one thing you like and there's another slide there's another thing you like about it experiment um, you know they're not that expensive are they at the end of the day sort of 20 pounds for a slide and if you you know you you'll know what you like and what you don't like experiment um, so yeah that's my story of my custom RR2 thanks for listening <laughs>